we did create our classes here now we can't edit or delete these classes just yet so let's add that kind of interface so i'm going to go to my text editor and private views so let me go to the classes view that's the classes view dot php so i want to make sure that the buttons lead to the correct places so classes edit that's correct classes delete that's correct and once i go once i'm done with that i have to go to the classes edit here yeah, to make sure that uh, it says the correct stuff so first of all let's edit all references of school edit class like so and let's see what else we need to change so instead of school here it's going to be class and let's change the reference to school here as well this one will be named class and the same thing here class name all right then so even this here uh, this will return to classes like so that's the console button there and that should be good that school here let me just press ctrl d to select all references and so that class was not found and then here class says like so same console button here and there so uh, let's give it a spin i will click here and there we go so console first class boom there we go so i can cancel this now let me do the same for the delete so i'm going to go to classes delete view so are you sure you want to delete this is all good but let me select all references of school and change that to class so say class okay so here where there are three s's like this let me find all the references of that and put an e there so that it spells classes okay so yeah that should do it so if i now click delete are you sure you want to delete that's first class and then we can click the delete button now i just want to see what happens when i click the actual button so i have to go to the controllers in classes classes controller this one is the add which works just fine this one is the edit and let's see here edit um, so classes model validate okay so everything looks good here and what about the delete so let's see what that does classes delete 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 okay so everything looks good so let's try our edit and see where it fails so i'll put a two there and try to save and there we go we have a two over there so which means our editing is working fine okay so let's add a new class that we can edit so i'll call this one second class and create so we have a second class here now we need our classes to go above the new one to be on top so let's change our query a little bit so go back to the top and find all okay so we're going to change how this runs instead of find all mm -hmm. we're going to use a query instead so let me just do query here like so and i'm going to put a select all from classes just select all from classes and i'll say order by id descending 
Okay, so now that I have a query there instead, uh, it's going to load the other way around. Okay, so this didn't work as planned. Okay, that's because it doesn't account for the user. Okay, so we're going to fix that in a moment. Let me undo this for now. We'll do something else so that we still use the find all, but we can still uh, determine the order here. So what I could do is simply add a param in there that will allow for that. So here I can just say descending like so. That way I can say find O in descending order like that. This way, um, let's see here, find O. Mm -hmm. So if I now go to, let's see, core model and go to the find O, where is find O? Right here, I can put order like so and make it optional to ascending like this. So the original is ascending, then we can put the descending for descending order. But since normally we want to read in descending order anyway, I will put the descending order as the normal. But for now, let me just put it like this so that you see how this is going to work. So copy this. And the query here says select all from this table. And we're just going to add order by. And then let's put the order value there, like so. So if I now refresh. OK, so syntax error. Now, a syntax error is always the easiest type of error to deal with. So um, let's see. What have I changed that has caused that syntax error? So order is equal to maybe the spelling here. I don't know. Order by. Let's put a by at the end, like so. Let's see how that works. Okay, so that doesn't solve the problem. Let's see, line 73. It's saying you have an error in your SQL syntax. So it means the syntax is the one with the error. Order by. Okay, so I see what the problem is. I didn't specify the column, so I'll just put an ID there. It should be order by ID descending. Okay, so let's load and that works just fine. So I will put the descending as the uh, default. That way I don't need to add this at all. I can only add ascending when I want it to go in ascending mode. I've put descending as a default because that's what we normally use. So this is all good. Now let's try and delete the second class and I will press delete. And just like that, it's gone. Okay, so we are good here, this first class and let's put a second class again, like so and create. Alrighty then. So as you can see, uh, things is working fine. Now we just need to be able to click on this and go to this actual class, right? So let's just do the bare bones, uh, the bare minimum for that as we prepare for the next video. So we want a single class. Now the problem we have is class is a keyword. So if we just added class slash the URL here, we may have a problem because that's a keyword. So we're going to say single underscore class. That's what the controller name will be. It will be single class. But let's put a link here that will help us to do that. So if I go back to uh, class edit view, uh, not the edit view, actually, this is the class view. Okay, so the button here is where is the button let's see it's this one right here okay so i'm just going to lower this here and lower that there let's zoom in a little bit so this is the button here i want to add a link to so i'm just going to copy this format here 
paste it there and close like so close that tag and then I want you to go to single underscore class like so okay so single class and let's remove the edit we can add the ID there but in the interest of not making it easy for somebody to mess with classes uh, let me show you what I mean here if I refresh the page <clears throat> the link here is single class slash three this one is slash one so somebody would just change the one and the three in the URL and they'll get to a class that they're not supposed to see so we're going to start by using security through obscurity by using the uh, class what is it called the class URL is it where is this uh, let's go to classes and see what we have in the columns here so we have the class ID that's what it's called so let's use that instead class underscore ID so back here so the advantage of the class ID as you can see there it's a long string down there is that um, <clears throat> just by changing a few numbers here I will not get to the next one I have to actually know the ID in order to add it in the URL so this is always good so once we click here this is where we go single class and all that but we're not seeing anything here now we need to create a controller for this single class so let me do that real quick so let's go up here to control us and let me copy one of these for example profile like so or yeah actually profile is good so I'll copy all of the things in here new file in controllers paste save this one and I will call this single underscore class dot php so likewise we would change this to single underscore class and same thing here single class and do the same thing here single we'll put dash here on the view single class like this and what is this here so this one will be classes like that and then here we'll have uh, what is this one class hmm. normally here we should have the class name that we got uh, so let me hmm, come back here Oh yeah, so the class name is the class name itself. So we're just going to say class and here class like this. Okay. Or oh, this doesn't really matter that much. Let me just remove that. Maybe we'll put a link to the class itself, but this should be disabled though. So it's okay like this, but we need this file called single class be active so let's find that one and where are we let me go to profile where is profile.view copy everything new paste save this one so I'm just going to call this single dash uh, class dot view dot php okay pretty good so let's come back here and refresh the page this time so that profile was not found but this is a class so we're just going to say that class was not found so let's refresh okay so that class was not found okay so so far we'll end here if I go to classes and click one of these it's saying it wasn't found but uh, there's a simple reason for that we're going to fix that in the next video. I'll see you then.